Tom Verica. I'm the director and executive producer. I'm Jeff Chur. I am the director of photography on Queen Charlotte. cinematographer basically interprets the director's vision for the project and uh, interprets it technically with camera and lighting, uh, camera movement, lenses, all that. Technical stuff is uh, used in service of the vision of the director. And I find it tremendously helpful when you have a DP who exchanges ideas and information and can interpret that and make it even better than either what you imagined or, or how you articulate it. We met in, uh, I think it was about 2007 or eight on That's another right. project. Um, Tom was directing and I was shooting and he came in. We hit it off pretty good then, but then we re-met again a few years later on uh, how to get away with murder. Tom was in the show and uh, as an we, actor. we saw each other. Yeah, as an actor, we saw each other again. We uh, set his body on fire. So that was the next time that I saw him. And then flash forward to Bridgerton, Tom uh, came in and uh, directed a couple episodes and we hit it off right away. I thought that was a, the, the beginning of something amazing. I think Jeff and I had a shorthand right off the bat. And I think it all starts with the music. We, uh, what music we play <laughs> during uh, lighting setup. And uh, we had a lot of similar tastes. <laughs> Jeffrey's got himself a girl. <laughs> Jeff and I are very similar in kind of a calm and, and respectful environment, and but keep it light, keep it easy, and making sure everyone's having a good time. And we work long hours, so it's important that as passionate as we are about the work and doing the work, the days go fairly easy. No, I think it's, it's more, we want to let that go because that's, okay. it's, it's really about her and the rest of the staff. Yeah. 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 I want to make I'll have you on the staff. For me, lighting is is really key to the to the project, setting the tone and the mood, and tracking the story and telling the story. Really, uh, I love color. I love movement and composition. The ideas for lighting come from the script. Initially, you have a sense of what the scenes are about, and there's lighting that is connected to that mood or that tone or the feeling of the story, whatever it is at that moment. Then you have a discussion with the director and we talk about, you know, what the feel of the show is. We start those discussions early on and, you know, we send each other images back and forth. We pull images for reference as to what this feels like, what this looks, and we build upon those. And we were sending some of the same images to each other yeah. from different movies yeah. and, and, and paintings and things. It's like, oh, I just sent that to you, the same one. So. I knew that we were in sync, and, it, and it's a dream for a cinematographer to find and work with a director that uh, has a similar worldview and a similar uh, vision for the project. So uh, we just built on each other's ideas, and that's really the best situation to, to find yourself in. Uh, we're doing a show that's sort of a spinoff of Bridgerton, so we have a bit of that style, but we've also taken it in a different direction because there's two timelines to the story, which is fascinating for, for me as a cinematographer. So we devised a, a, a feel and a look to these two separate timelines. One is uh, similar to Bridgerton, a little cooler because it's winter instead of, a, instead of the seasonal summer that we always have. And the other one is a, is a softer sort of warm flashback look to, uh, to Queen Charlotte when uh, she was young. I shot list kind of everything what I want. So I think that gives Jeff a little insight as to what I want. And oftentimes, as soon as I block it and kind of set where I want the actors, he then says it'll help if we maybe shift a little bit or he will 99 times out of 100 build on what it is that I have on my shot list and not only take what I intended, but really bring it alive in ways and make suggestions because he is someone who's really tapped in the story. It's not just uh, lighting pretty shots. He really is listening to the story and honoring the narrative and everything is born out of that. So we really have a good kind of shorthand with uh, achieving that. 
I use the iPad as a viewfinder, basically. In the old days, you would use a director's finder. But what you get with the iPad is you get a visual you know, record of it so you can take photos during rehearsals. And then we share that. We talk about it. Do you like this? Do you like that? What about this? So I know where he's kind of headed with stuff and I'll try to add to it. But he also knows how to talk to the actors to sort of finesse the blocking so that it works for the camera, which uh, is so key. Absolutely key. So uh, India, can I, can I have you guys step, uh, let me see you guys walk in and take a couple steps back, please. Now, Leo, let's go in and just stay inside there. So can they, now can you guys come, uh, can you guys come right here? So India, so India uh, comes right there. When I feel that the camera, the lighting, everything comes together and you realize you're in the right place with the camera, you're doing the right thing with the light, you're telling that story that you want to tell and hitting it right on the mark, that's the best. We know it when it's happening, we feel yeah. it. And sometimes you feel, ah, we got rushed, we we're, that may have not have the found, weather found the life. <laughs> yeah, the life that fully as we wanted to, but we find ourselves oftentimes in love <laughs> with what we're, what we're getting. This was a show where we felt like we hit it right right from the start. Yeah. We had a vision for it. We knew what we wanted to do with it, how we wanted it to be somewhat different than Bridgerton. We're doing every episode together. So I think that was something that was really appealing, but that's a tremendous investment in the marriage of this relationship <laughs> that has to stand this test of time. I've spent more time with him with my wife than probably the last two years. <laughs> I haven't seen my wife in a few months. Love what we're doing and it's been such a rich experience and very fulfilling from a creative standpoint i love this guy really, I love him, man. <laughs> i'm gonna miss you man <laughs> i can talk to you guys all day unfortunately the heavy-handed tax on my shoulder we're going to shoot something we gotta go we gotta go do a thing <laughs>